We're eating ice cream. Ah! Not just any ice cream. Mickey ice cream. Woo! Hey guys, it's KJ. And John. Welcome to our channel where we do videos on Disney. Mother and lifestyle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Ding the notification bell. And leave us a comment. John, what are we doing today? We're eating ice cream. Ah! Not just any ice cream. Mickey ice cream. Woo! The Mickey's Premium Ice Cream Bars came out over a year ago, but believe it or not, we could never find them in our Target, or any grocery store for that matter, but they carried them in New York and Target. We had no luck last year, and then we sort of gave up, and then John was at Target, and he called me, and he was like, guess what I found? And not only did they have the Mickey Ice Cream Bars that KJ was talking about, but then I also noticed they had the ice cream sandwiches, which I hadn't actually seen before in Target. They had Millennium Falcon ones too, which were vanilla vanilla. But uh, we decided to go with the classic Mickey. We'll try the Millennium Falcon one another time. They were both just over $7 each. So for six sandwiches and six ice cream bars, you're talking about $14. Uh, it's basically probably the price you'd pay <laughs> inside the park. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 12, 12 ice creams. I guess you'd probably pay more like $36 or more. So 14, pretty good. Bring the magic to home. Which one are you more excited to try? Did you not see my shirt? The ice cream bar. <laughs> I think I'm more excited to try the sandwich, but because I know what the ice cream bar tastes like, at least I, I know what the one in the park tastes like. I don't know if I've ever really had the ice cream sandwich as often as the ice cream bar. I think the last time we had the Mickey's ice cream sandwich was when we went for our anniversary trip last year. All right, so let's try them out. What, here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we should eat these in the kitchen. They might get a little messy. If they're anything like the parks, the last time I had a Mickey's ice cream bar, the chocolate fell. So, let's move to the kitchen. Yeah, maybe so. All right, so this seems like a better spot to try out the ice cream bar and the ice cream cookie sandwich. Uh, looking at our shirts now, though, I'm realizing that I don't have a shirt that's designated for a snack at Disney, so I may need to add to my collection. Um, <sighs> if you haven't seen, I recently had a t-shirt haul. We'll link that. Bought 10 new Disney shirts. He did. A snack item was not one of them. Yeah. I'm realizing it's missing from my collection. I it's a collection of like 7,000 t-shirts. I'm yeah. not really even exaggerating. I'm really not. All right, so uh, we have the ice cream cookie sandwich, Mickey style. And the classic, or what we call the premium ice cream well, I bar. I can't even see that one. Well, that, this one's kind of, it's in, <laughs> it's in covering at the moment. I think this one's cool that which, it comes clear. Which one do you want to try first? Do you want to try the classic? Here. Look at my shirt! Alright, we'll try that one first. <laughs> we'll put this one to the side. Oh, I thought you would try that and I would try this. Oh, okay, so we'll do it we'll do it simultaneously. Alright, well already, now I've heard this, but now I'm actually seeing them in person. So already oh. this does look <laughs> Wow, people said they were smaller. <laughs> this is like yeah, it's way miniature. smaller. Not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. And I guess the ice cream cookie sandwich is also much smaller. So I take back yeah. what I said. The whole thing about you, you pay, you know, what, what's a little over a dollar per bar um, in the store, and it's like three dollars in the park. I mean, you also get your money's worth in the park. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But uh, listen, hopefully it's still delicious. So, well, I'll try first, I guess. Okay. Oh man. Mm. Really cold? Nah, this is where I have to fill the, the chewing space. <laughs> My witty banter. Is it as authentic as the theme park? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. The chocolate, I think, is on par. It's almost as velvety as it is in the park. The ice cream, though, is not as good as the ice cream in the park. And actually, over a year ago, when we did go to Walt Disney World for our one year anniversary. I did record us, or me, eating both the Mickey's ice cream bar and the sandwich because at the time I thought we'd be able to find it in the store even though we didn't, so I'll also insert that. And you know how much I got to eat of those two ice creams? Zero. I actually want to try this one before trying the sandwich, so I want to see if I agree with you. You know what I'm gonna say, well let me try it first and then I'll give you my my thoughts about why it might taste different. Mmm, so good. Mm. Am I feeling the, the, the chewing as well as John? I will say, I mean, we're also in an air-conditioned home, so 
it's not 90 degrees and humid right now but it doesn't melt off like it does sometimes in the parks on those really hot days i'm pretty sure in the clip we're going to show you i think part of the chocolate just like fell to the ground mm -hmm. but and that's exactly what i was going to say i think the missing the aspect of the humidity and the heat of florida you don't get the sense of the melting chocolate and the mm -hmm. melting ice cream that kind of adds something to it this is kind of more stable even when i bit it like KJ said, it's not melting in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, There's not the I, urgency there. <laughs> yeah, I think the meltingness of the chocolate and the ice cream kind of, it adds something to the experience. And, and it's missing that in an air-conditioned environment. I do agree. I do think the chocolate, though, is spot on. It kind of brought me right into the park, yeah. Okay. I thought the richness of it was certainly there. I think flavor is spot on, but I do think it's missing that aspect of it being runny and melting. And you're like, we need more napkins. <laughs> Find a cart, get more napkins. Yeah. So, Okay, do we want, so let's... This would not be able to be done inside the park. I would not just be able to sit here <laughs> blabbing away, no. holding an ice cream in 95 degree Florida heat. Okay, so let's show you the clip of me eating the ice cream bar like a year ago, which we've never shared, and see what I thought then. Right now, I'm eating one of the Mickey Premium ice cream bars in Animal Kingdom right now. The reason why I am videoing this is because I'm still on the hunt to find the ones in the stores at home in New York. So I just figured I'd give this a little review so that when I do finally find them, I can compare them, so. It is melting because it's like 85 degrees here. Um, chocolate is really good. Dark chocolate. Ice cream is very good. I just lost some of it. It's really hot. But they really are really good, so I can't wait to uh, find them at home and see if they're as good. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 though. So good. That was some clip, wasn't it? What a beautiful clip. <laughs> Stop, you're just mad because you weren't in it. John's the star of the show. But as you can see, I clearly loved the ice cream bar in the park. John has a good point that we're not in the park. It's not really giving that element of like, it's really hot where the napkins, I mean, look, like we've been standing here for the last five minutes holding these and it's not dripping at all. I so, can actually feel the coldness though I know, coming was, off the ice cream. Too. It was like radiating because now, that, now that it's not encased in chocolate, it almost like almost a little small air conditioner blowing at you. Yeah, I can, I can feel, feel it. My hand is getting a breeze. Yeah. Very interesting. It's starting to melt a little. Yeah. So clearly, I think the park does taste better, but if we can't be at the parks, this is certainly a great substitute. Would you agree? I would. Yeah, it was tasty. Okay, so now... And I'm more of a chocolate fan, so the chocolate to vanilla distribution... Ratio. Is, yeah, distribution ratio is actually yeah. better in the smaller bar because you're still getting... Oh, you know, yeah. So it's not quite as... I guess. You know, I think I like the thicker... Mickey bars because I, I like having more of the vanilla ice cream with sort of yeah. like the chocolate coating, but you know, teach his own. So now time for the sandwich. Am I getting the first bite? No, no of course not. <laughs> All right. You're eating a cheek. I would have went for an ear. Mm -hmm. I'll try the ear. What do you think? Hmm. Take yourself back to Hollywood Studios. This is very good too. This, and again, maybe because it's the actual sandwich part is not sticky and melting. I'm gonna take care of this um, off camera. It doesn't remind me quite as much as the ice cream sandwich in the park. The The actual sandwich part feels a little harder and not kind of as mushy as it would be in the park. That's kind of the thought I got. But, uh, but both still good. Mm -hmm. I will say that Sometimes store-bought ice cream sandwiches are lacking something a little in the taste department. These are both very flavorful. They I'm are. Not, I'm not really yeah. big on the, your classic kind of like what you would consider your store brand Whoop. ice cream sandwiches. I'm yeah, not really a fan of those. Um, but these are actually pretty good. I'm more of a chip witch guy. So for me to be eating one of these and saying it's good, yeah. it's, it's pretty good. So again... We'll go to the clip of me eating the ice cream sandwich in Hollywood Studios. I'm enjoying my delicious uh, Mickey ice cream bar. I already took his ears off. But I forgot how good these things are. 
haven't had one of these in a while because I tend to go for the Mickey's premium ice cream bars, but these are really good. So it looks like I did enjoy it. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's Mickey ice cream. So whether it's a Mickey bar or a Mickey ice cream sandwich in the parks, it's delicious. The one in the parks, I mean, they're definitely a little bit thicker. There's more ice cream in the parks. I think the, what would you call that? The sandwich part, the chocolate, mm -hmm. what is this? I don't know, the outside. The sandwich part. The sandwich part, that it was a little bit softer in the parks, but it also could be because those melt so quickly because we're outside, it's hot, although that night it wasn't particularly hot, but you guys know what I mean. So overall, what would you give the ice cream, John? Uh, considering these aren't usually my go-tos for snacks in the park or out of the park, I would give these a, you know, on the scale of 1 to 10, a 9. They're very good. The only thing you can really argue with is perhaps the size. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think you can argue with the price because based off of what you would get inside the park, I think the price is kind of spot on. I'd say, oh, that's for both, I'd say for the Mickey's ice cream bar, as far as how much it tastes like the park, I think I'm gonna go an eight out of 10, and as far as how it tastes in general, I'd say like eight and a half, nine, because I'm biased and I like the ones in the park better, but it's still really good. Oh, this is like what happened to me in the park. And then as far as the ice cream sandwich, I think the same thing, I'd give it about an eight out of 10 on how much it's like the park, and then maybe like a nine, eight, nine out of 10 for overall taste. But it's actually starting to melt now, so I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's starting to melt, so, so we're gonna have to run. So with that, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell, and leave us a comment. Oh my goodness, it's melting, just like the park. Oh, it's melting in my hands. Um, all right, guys, <laughs> we will see you guys Ooh. real soon. We gotta eat our ice cream. Bye. See you at the park. Maybe at the ice cream stand. <laughs> Bye, guys.